thyroid disorders in pregnancy in pregnancy and before pregnancy like any female who is suffering from thyroid disorder not only female if males are also suffering from any thyroid problem then it definitely is a matter of concern and people should get themselves checked up before they are landing up before or after they land up in any of the clinics so firstly let us come to females who are suffering from, from thyroid problems so females who are suffering from thyroid problems usually we grade thyroid disorders like whether they are having hypothyroidism or thyrotoxicosis so and then we need to see that whether it is due to deficiency due to some autoimmune problems so we need to diagnose the female by doing some blood investigations and ultrasonography of the thyroid gland as well as after that we do send the patient to endocrinologist to check for if there is any other problem so they do many nuclear uptake tests also for the thyroid gland so coming to like conception portion if the patient is only having deficiency usually the patient doesn't suffer any problem during the conception time the patient he or she conceives automatically but obviously they'll have problems in the carry forward of the pregnancy but if the patient is having autoimmune problems and because of that the patient is having thyroid disorders then definitely they suffer infertility and they land up with us before the conceptional phase so the patient needs to be diagnosed thoroughly that why this thyroid disorder has turned up secondly when the patient has conceived and then they are diagnosed with very elevated tsh then they land up into multiple recurrent abortions for this also the patient needs to be given proper medications the diet chart is made properly for the patient so that they adhere to the diet and accordingly the thyroid levels are monitored Secondly, if the patient has to see that whether they are on thyroid medications which are suitable during pregnancy or not. Because if the patient is suffering from thyrotoxicosis, you have different sort of drugs which some are acceptable during pregnancy and some is not accept acceptable during pregnancy. So it is very, it is a, fo a foremost thing that the patient sees all this. So these are some of the problems and thirdly, the child also can have thyroid disorders so congenital hypothyroidism can happen in the child if the thyroid is not well controlled so thyroid is a very important organ organ that is responsible for the in, in the reproductive age group and you should be very particular that you should have a proper thyroid levels in males also in many cases patients who are having abnormal sperm count they also have increased or decreased thyroid levels and they are also having autoimmune problems that is also one of the causes that they are suffering from infertility